Wow, a lot of people here. <laughs> it is a lively little village. They say it's famous for peaches and raspberry pie. Uh, fruit. Yeah, I'll stick with meat. A purely carnivorous diet isn't good for you. Everything in balance, all in moderation. Casty, you sound like my mother. <laughs> hey, something smells good. Welcome, travelers. Care to try Cropdale's new delicacy? Door door on a stick. Oh, yes, meat, real meat. Uh, oh, Chet, manners. May we have one skewer, please? Enjoy. Oh, I will. Thanks. You mustn't eat too, too much, Ochat. Ugh, this is gross. Uh, excuse me. This meat tastes weird. Sorry about that. Not much I can do when it gets that old. Takes a whole garden of herbs just to cover the smell. Why do you go to such lengths to make old meat edible? Hunting's been bad lately. We can't get anything fresher. I've hunted these parts for years, but I've never seen it like this. Huh. Maybe we'll go take a look at the forest while we're here. Oh, you're a hunter too, Missy. That'd be a big help. The forest just past the village. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Leave it to me. You mustn't overextend yourself, Ochet. <sighs> yes, Ma. As swift as a snake. Ready? Here I go. Axe attack all to be done. Cleaning time. next time. Is that tasty? <laughs> I'll say. On Toto Haha, we used to wrestle the animals for them. 
But look how many there are here. <laughs> Woohoo! Doesn't that strike you as odd? Why would so many delicious fruits be left untouched? Uh... Now that you mention it, the forest feels a little too quiet. Mahina's on edge too. Ugh! Something's headed this way! Hey! You must be one of the famous Door Door! It seems quite agitated. Easy now! What's got into you? This isn't working. The poor thing's not in its right mind. Sorry, Dorsey, but this is gonna hurt a bit. Ready when you are. Cleaning time. Here goes. It's your shift now, friend. Let's go. The hunt awaits. Well now. Shoot. As a snake. Ready? <laughs> That's thrown a for you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Here I go. Of this well now this will make it all right cleaning time you're too For me, eat me while I'm still tasty. Oh, Chet, no lying, please. Are you injured? Wait, don't run away. There he goes. Guess he's got places to be. Let's follow him. Here goes! 
Rose. Are negotiations over? There! Here we go! Go on then! Now! My turn. Ready? Thanks. Maybe next time. Time to clean up the filth. Well now. My turn. What? Here we Now let's grab some food. You are all holed up here? You don't have to be afraid. Easy now. Shh. They're absolutely terrified. But terrified of what? Be gone, humans. Harm not the door door. Is that what they're saying? I suppose they think we're here to hurt that one from earlier. <clears throat> Let's go, Casty. It's all right. Calm down. We don't want to hurt you anymore. Come on. Don't be scared. Don't worry. Mama here's got a kind heart. Just, uh, don't make her angry. Oh, Chet. Sorry. I only want to tend your wounds. You don't want those to get infected. Let me help you. Please. There. That should do it. Good boy, Wooly Wooly. Did you just say Wooly Wooly? That's his name. Don't you like it? Well, he likes it. Good for you, Bully Uli. Hmm? What's that? I'm sorry I attacked you. Let me explain what scared the forest creatures. It was a dark monster they'd never seen before. Hmm. I wonder what the monster was. It does raise questions. Yes, but, uh, more importantly... Uh, 
Perhaps we should eat before discussing it further. Thanks, Ma. Look here, partner. Whole place is wild as an unbroken horse. The raw energy is incomparable to anything I felt in prison. And the air, it's so fresh. <laughs> Smells like a deal to me. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. Well, he certainly tripped over... something. Uh, hey, what's the matter, fella? I am... a scholar. But... I am soon to starve and become... a useless lump of meat. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Here, have a bite of this bread. Oh... my savior! Ah, you have saved me. Yes, thanks to you, I can continue my scholarly pursuits. Good gracious. This is my first meal in three days, nine hours, and 23 minutes. <laughs> now, hang on. You're telling me you were counting minutes even as you were dying of hunger? It is in a scholar's nature to keep records, no matter how dire the situation. Isn't that right, Regulus? Oswald? It is you, isn't it? Oswald! Huh? You two know each other? <laughs> we were friends in our academy days. <laughs> it has been quite some time. We'd frequently bring the fruits of our research to bear in our spirited discussions, huh? So then, what brought you here? <laughs> Procuring research materials, old fellow. For a, uh, hold your applause, a uh, earth-shattering invention. Oh, sounds nice. What is it? Most curious. Shall we talk it over? Oh, how this takes me back, Oswald. Let us do so, over drinks. If we're in agreement, well, I shall go right on ahead. To the stars, to which we mere mortals turn our gaze and use to delineate our dreams. Though they are far, far beyond our grasp. 
And so, I have devised a device that will allow us to bring them right before our eyes. I call it the Astronomical Telescope. Hooey! The stars have been humanity's guides its time immemorial. They know the truth of this world. But I shall be the one to lay their mysteries bare. You haven't changed a bit, Regulus. Golly, that there's one astronomical-sized dream. Well, go on. Show us this telescope of yours, Regulus. You've piqued my interest as well. Is it complete? It will be soon. Rather, it was supposed to be. No, oh, if only I had hit it big at the game parlor, I would have secured the last of my funds. You don't mean. The odds were ever in my favor, but the stars abandoned me in my hour of need. You just misread your odds. Betting is a simple matter of probability. You've always had an exceptionally keen mind, but you're a fool when it comes to money. I see you have not mellowed with age. Say, Regulus, how much coin you got in those pockets of yours? This is all I have to my name. Yep, you sure are hard up. You were hoping we'd treat you to food and drinks from the start, weren't you? <laughs> oh, hell. You got me all riled up now. What say you give me that coin? Invest this coin in me, and I reckon I can get you everything you need for your telescope. No, don't encourage... My savior! We need three components in order to complete my astronomical telescope. A metal working tool, a mirror, and a precision lens. Particio here shall control all the funds. Yep, leave it to me, friend. I'll get you what you need. I shall await you in the square in front of the theater. I pray to the stars for your every success. You'll get no help from me. Indulging him never ends well. <laughs> well, all right then. It was me that got the boasting anyhow. Now, I'd best get to negotiate. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Like taking candy from a baby. I got all three pieces. Time to head on over to Regulus at the square in front of that theater. How this do you, Regulus? Oh. Oh. You are truly a god among mortals. 
a messiah, come to save this world. <laughs> That's taking it a bit too far, ain't it? I'll surely be able to assemble the telescope with these parts. Thank you ever so much. I cannot waste another second. The time has come to seal myself in my laboratory. You may find me in Montwise. Do drop by if you happen to pass through. And once my telescope is complete, we can stare the mysteries of the night sky right in the eye. Ha 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 the mysteries of the night sky, huh? <laughs> that gets me all excited. Then perhaps we shall pay him a visit soon. Just keep your expectations low. I'll take that. I like my odds. Hmm. Indulge me for a moment. Now then. Indulge me for a moment. This wasn't in my calculations. <laughs> I need to feel my wrath. For a moment. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. A worth one. I'll take. I like my yard. Thinking time. Indulge me for all according to plan. I need a <laughs> Indulge me for a moment. Study harder. A worthwhile. I like my odds. Thinking time. They're broken. I need to... Hmm. I've seen worse methods. A worthwhile... Hand it over. I like my odds. Hmm. Found a weakness. <coughs> now then. Try again. I need a plan. All according to plan. 
Calculations complete. Indulge me for a moment. Study harder. Oh, worth it. This area is a shipyard. How dare you try to pawn off that miserable vessel on me? What? I assure you, sir. That wretch is the legendary shipwright's apprentice? Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. You, you have my sincerest apologies, sir. I had no idea. And that ridiculous sum she asked. Does she not even know the market value of a ship? You have the right of it, sir. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Fah! This has been a colossal waste of my time. I am furious. Furious! Good day, sir. Uh, wait! Please! The apprentice of a legendary shipwright, eh? My merchant's nose is tickling. It's the Santa Commerce. Turn around and leave. You won't find anything here but an incomplete ship. <laughs> Lucky for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Excuse me? The name's Particio. I'm a merchant from that big old western continent. Mind if I take a gander at your work? This ship is not for sale. This is what that rich fellow was complaining about, costing an arm and a leg. He asked me my price, so I told him. Nothing more to it. Well, how much is this here tub? I'm mighty curious myself now. A hundred thousand leaves. But I already said it wasn't for sale. If you have a problem with that, you can just go home. So that's the miserable vessel, huh? Half finished and left high and dry for a while by the looks of it. <laughs> My merchant sense is tingling. This here ship's a must buy. 100,000, huh? I've got enough capital on me to buy it if I wanted to. All that's left is to convince that shipwright to sell. Thousand leaves? Wait, 
Does this mean... You betcha. I want to buy that ship of yours. I get it now. You're just another one of them. Huh? You only want it because you heard the rumors, right? That my vessel is the last work of my master, the legendary shipwright. Sorry to disappoint you, but it wasn't my master who designed this ship. It was me. Uh, your point? I'm trying to tell you that it's worthless, unsaleable, just the brainchild of a mere disciple. Everyone I've told that to has, to date, immediately stomped off in a huff. Well, I don't much care who designed your ship, ma'am. Truth is, I fell in love the second I saw her. Even though she's incomplete? You're no shipwright. You've got no reason to appreciate her. <laughs> you got me dead to rights. I couldn't tell stem from stern. But I know a deal when I smell one. And my merchant's intuition is hollering at me to buy, buy, buy. You're willing to gamble that much money on a mere hunch? When I was just a chickadee, I practiced my appraisal skills by watching silversmiths day in and day out. I learned how to recognize well-maintained tools, despite the patina of wear and tear. How to see the calluses on artisans' hands is proof of their dedication and talent. I can see the same spirit and skill in you, ma'am. You're a first-class artisan, or my name ain't Particio. That's why I'm sure that any tub you make is going to turn out sensational. You're the first person who's ever complimented these shop-worn hands of mine. Well, they say a true masterwork is imbued with the spirit, a voice. Can you hear it now? I'm raring to gallop across the ocean waves faster than a frisky stallion. That's what your vessels shout. So please, sell me this fine ship of yours. No. I already told you, it isn't for sale. Oh, shucks. Not yet, anyway. Mind waiting until I've made it something worth selling? Uh-huh. From here on out, I'm going to work like a woman possessed to finish this ship. It'll take some time, of course. Will you wait for me? You bet your hat I will. Then it's settled. I'll use this money to buy the materials I need and hire a team of skilled shipwrights to assist me. I never thought I'd see the day I could finally set out to complete her. My master praised me for the first time when I showed him the blueprints I drew up for this ship. He told me, now I can finally retire with my head held high. He must have cared deeply for you. Building this is the final major job he set out to do. But he collapsed soon after we finished the hull. After that, our financiers scattered like a swarm of little spiders. They mumbled platitudes, like the future is steamships, as they went. The truth is, they didn't think a mere apprentice's ships would sell. 
My master's other apprentices started slipping away soon, too. One after the other. It was ridiculous. Infuriating. Soon, I just gave up making ships altogether. Well, once people get a whiff of this beauty, the investors will stampede back here like a herd of cattle. I hope so. But even if they don't, I'll keep on practicing my craft. There are people out there who will appreciate me and my works for what they are. Like you, Particio. Now then, all that's left is to give her hull a fresh coat of paint and sew a sigil into her sails. Any particular requests? Is this what you want? Oh, that's perfect! There. She's all finished. Oh, she's even more beautiful than I dreamed she'd be. She's yours now, Particio. Go on. Give her a name. A name, huh? Let me see. Got it! From this day forward, I dub her the Grand Terry. Wh the wh what? She may be my ship, but she's got your soul. That's why I gave her your name, Terry. Here's hoping she's the first of many of her kind. Huh. This is a first for me. I'm not really sure what to say. Go and cast off already, you rogue. Let her see the world. You got it. Thanks, Terry. I'll be sure to treat her right. Out of my way. My turn. As swift as a <laughs> cleaning time. Prince of Thieves! 
easy. This cannot be. Uh oh. Coming right up. Death can't have me yet. Cleaning time. There. This cannot be. Adnia. Bad. Watch me. You're too kind. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> 